Hey guys, Kenny here at Trunor Social. Today I want to talk about Facebook ads for Facebook page likes or Facebook page followers. It's called two different things in two different places, but basically it's followers for your Facebook page. I did a couple other videos on Facebook ads for Instagram followers, which you can check out in another uh, video. I'll leave a link in the description below. Got some decent feedback, quite a few views, so I'm pretty happy about that. So thanks to everyone uh, who has watched. But for this one, I get quite a few clients who also wanna get their Facebook page looking a little bit better. If someone Googles their business, Facebook will usually show up pretty high in search results. So they just wanna make sure that if someone clicks that, they have their bases covered and it has a decent amount of followers. This has got a couple different variations. Obviously we could do something super targeted where you know we're only targeting like specific cities, maybe a little bit broader where we're targeting the United States as a whole, which is kind of my favorite just because I want USA followers, which most of our clients are in the USA, although we do have clients in Australia, Europe, a few other places. And then there's another variation which maybe I'll sometimes run hand in hand which is a very wide audience just to get the numbers up. I mean, yes, we could go out and buy fake followers, but I don't think it's good for the account or the page. And it's really not something that I think people should be doing anymore these days. Back in the day, everyone did it. It was no big deal. These days, I mean, you could spend a pretty small ad spend and get a decent amount of uh, Facebook page fans. So fans, followers, likes, uh, we'll, we'll get to it in a second and I'll show you how they name it different things. But yeah, let's hop over uh, to Facebook's business manager and check it out. All right guys, so here we are. We're in Facebook business manager for a client of mine. Nothing crazy on spends here, but they wanted to additionally do an ad that will grow their Facebook followers. So the way I do that, I come up to create and in here we are going to do engagement page likes and name the campaign Facebook page followers Let's just call it 2.0 for now so I've set up a previous one that was on a test continue nothing to do in here nothing to do in here most of this should be good to go usually campaign budget optimization will be set to default if not I like to shut that off Come over, we're, we're clicking right here to go into uh, the ad set. In the ad set, make sure you have the proper Facebook page selected. And then the budget, I'm just gonna drop this down to 10. Keep it, keep it small for now. Uh, we're not gonna have an end date currently, but you definitely can if you want to. And then I'm going to use a saved audience here, and then we can go over the audience. We're gonna go for the broad version, basically the cheapest version for Facebook followers for this. And then obviously, if you wanna hone it in, you can hone it in more, and the more the more you hone it in, the more expensive it will be. So I'm coming here and I'm just gonna go IGF 4.0. This is an audience I created on Instagram for followers. It's got a good range in here. Real quick, in, in terms of location, I have a lot of South America because the reach Per dollar spend in South America is very low, so we could reach many more people. They're all gonna be real accounts. It's just a matter of it costs, the dollar goes further in different countries. So I have Argentina, Australia, Bolivia, Brazil, Canada, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Spain, France, UK, Guyana, Peru, Paraguay, United States, Uruguay, Venezuela. So we still have United States and Canada in here, wherever Canada is, uh, here, Canada. So at least the, like my client will know I'm still targeting their main two countries. The other places we're getting in here for number six. Age, we keep wide open at 18 to 65. And then for people who match, this client makes lighting equipment for pretty much professional videographers. So I have some things in here like Adobe Premiere, cinematographers, Final Cut Pro, camera lens. But the main thing to keep in mind here is these are specific to the product, to the client, but I wanna get these, I wanna get this number right here up high. If I could get to this up into 300, that would be like perfect. But going at 227 right here is totally fine as well. I don't turn targeting expansion on for this because I just want to keep it this. This is an option if you're trying to open it up a little bit more. This will definitely 
increase this number, but I think this is a healthy number for this. Come down here to placements, manual placements. I'm gonna turn off marketplace and video feeds and just leave Facebook newsfeed, okay? We're gonna come down, optimization for ad delivery is page likes. That's because we set that up right in the beginning. All right, let's hop over to the next one. This is our ad creative. I kind of leave the ad names and stuff alone because in here we're not going to be creating multiple creatives and multiple ad sets. So it as the default is totally fine. I had a video sent over by the client. Um, so I'm going to come into here and click add video. And we will upload from the, let's see the desktop. We got this video right here, open. We'll let that upload. While it's uploading, let's take a look at what was created. We used today in the prism scene, we actually selected that color from the actress's jacket. So you simply open the app, sample the color, and it comes on the light. The gaffer, having not used the lamps before, immediately just knew how to put them together. It's quite straightforward. It's pretty cool that you color pick. I've had a lot of experience using other lights that use an app based and actually this one seemed pretty straightforward. So yeah, short and sweet, 30 seconds. Close that out. And let's come back over to here. Almost done uploading. I'm kind of comfortable with this primary text. I would maybe like to add an emoji. Okay, just grab it right up in here. Oops. Okay. Lighting research and opinion. I just kind of want like a little extra in there. I like to make sure there's a space on both sides of this emoji. Yeah. Let's just preview this real quick. Yeah, I don't mind that being right there. At first I was kind of like, that's weird. It's just separating the sentence, but ProLite is founded by a group of lighting researchers and engineers who aim to introduce industry level lighting. Love it. Looks good to go. This is what they'll see. They'll see follow. It for sure works. I think I'm using this audience even with less countries. We spent 150 and grew by about 700 followers for another client of mine. So I'm not totally comfortable with those numbers. I like it. If we want, actually, you know what? I'm wrong. 150 spent for another client. We spent 150 with only the United States targeted and got 700 followers. So this should do significantly better. The wider, the more countries and interests, the higher that number is, that 227 I was talking about earlier, slash 300, the higher that that is, the more followers we're gonna get. It's just gonna reach so many more people for the dollar spent. So everything in here looks fine. I'm comfortable with this. Good to go. We're gonna click publish. Let's let that go through. Fantastic. Let's close that. Make sure everything's good to go here. I like to refresh, just kind of confirm. Great. Probably get reviewed and approved within 30 minutes or so, and then we should be rocking and rolling. So yeah, guys, that's kind of uh, how I set up an ad for Facebook followers. Maybe we'll get into some more versions of this, but I think a video, a video like that, that that's super eye-catching and well shot, I'm really well produced is going to make this work so much better than if we just did a still shot. Now that being said, a minute ago I mentioned we had another client who was spending 150, got 700 followers, United States only, and with that was a still image collage. So I just had an image moving across, you know, four or five still images moving across, and it worked just fine. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. This is nothing crazy. It's just something to spruce up the page a bit. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll come at you soon with another video. Please like and subscribe. Everything helps us out so much. Hope you guys have a great day.
See ya. 